Hello Pisces, Cancer and Scorpio, welcome to my channel, my name is Chelsea In this reading, we're going to find out how does the person on your mind feel about you right now To book a personal reading with me, all information is in the description box below And today is the 23rd of April 2023, time here in Bali, Indonesia is 7.05pm Please bear in mind that this is a collective reading for Pisces, Cancer and Scorpio And if you were to find a guided to watch this video, this message is meant for you Even if you're dealing with with the same sign all right now let's get your reading started spirits and angels please show me for pisces cancer and scorpio their person on their mind how do they feel about them right now Please bear in mind that roles can be reversed between you and the person. I'll take these. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. We've got the lovers at the bottom of the deck. So whoever this person is who is on your mind right now, if you wonder if they love you, yes, they do because of the lovers here. It feels like the sun is a, it's definitely a positive card, right? positive energy despite the ten of swords eight of cups five of pentacles i feel like their feelings for you are actually positive but their feelings towards the situation is negative i hope that makes sense to you okay so we got the five pentacles again queen of pentacles so your person could be a virgo capcom or a taurus Hmm. feels like someone is when i say someone that means it could be you or this person okay you could go vice versa so the queen of pentacles holding on to this pentacle right if you look at it that's one hidden one i'll take it i'm just gonna put it right here so the way she's looking at this pentacle it's like i really treasure this i'm focusing on this right now they could be feeling like the only problem with this Queen of Pentacles is it's surrounded by the Five of Pentacles and the Eight of Cups here. That means the focus, priority, either they feel like your priority is something else or their priority is something else. So, hmm. So someone may be feeling left out in the cold. Someone may be feeling like they need to walk away from this connection because their priority is not being set straight, okay? Again, I hope that makes sense to you. Either they feel like you don't prioritize that, them, and you're prioritizing other things or something else that you value in your life, or it could be them feeling like they need to prioritize something else in their life that they hold, that they see in their eyes that, that are available. It could be money, it could be career, it could be something anything anything that's valuable because pentacles is something valuable right so we've got these six of wands ten of swords and the king of cups well there's no doubt that the person in your mind does care about you does love you that's for sure but there's something else going on here they could be feeling really sad really down because they love you, they care about you, but you're prioritizing something else, or it could be them feeling sad that they have to prioritize something else over you, okay? Again, it could go vice versa like that. So we've got the Six of Swords, King of Wands, the Death here in reverse. There is a back and forth energy, right? The Six of Wands is looking towards the right. Same goes King of Cups. While the King of Wands is looking towards the left. And same goes to this horse in the Death card. It's also looking towards the left. So it's like back, like back and forth, back and forth energy. So their feeling towards you could be on certain days, they feel good about what's going on. 
but there are times where they feel like, ugh, maybe not so good, okay? I guess um, when it comes to feelings, we do go through up and down, right? Our emotions go up and down as well. Um, Eight of Swords here is in love first. We've got the Nine of Pentacles in love first and the Two of Swords. Okay, a person could be a Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Again, could also be a Fire Sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Sorry about that. So, Eight of Cups. I'm not sure if you could hear the vibrate from my phone. Um, Eight of Cups. Eight of Swords in love first. Eighty-eight. Check out your angel number if you want to. Eighty-eight. See, it's like, 88 is like what goes around comes around, or it's like going away and then coming back again, going away and then coming back again. Again, this back and forth energy. On one hand, again, the sun here indicates them feeling positive about you. They have positive feelings about you in terms of if they care about you, if they love you, yes. But I see them also at the same time not too happy with the situation right now between the two of you. See, the reason why I feel that again, you'll be feeling like you're prioritizing something else other than them or vice versa, they're prioritizing something else other than you. Because the six of wands here, it's like, yay, I'm sitting on a high horse. While these five pentacles is like, someone feels left out in the cold. Someone could be feeling ten of swords, like, not too happy about it's like i'm happy for you but i'm not too happy for us okay happy for this person but not happy for us because the five pentacles here there are two people not happy for us but i'm happy for you six of wands hmm. so it could be for some of you they may be feeling as though that they're happy that you're doing your thing and that you're successful or you're on your way to success or they're not happy that but they're not happy with this situation, this connection because it feels like something has to end Ten of Swords and the death here, right? Something has to end but it feels like that energy. You know how when somebody, when you tell somebody like, hey, I just won this. Hey, I'm, you're sharing good news with someone, but it's not, it's, the, it's their good news and not your good news. And people like to, every time, I don't know why, I, I, feel, I, feel, I feel that way. Whenever if I was to tell somebody good news to someone and this person, says to me back i'm so happy for you it feels like you're happy for me but you're not happy for yourself you know what i mean it's like it's your happiness it's not my happiness it's not our happiness because i'm not a part of it so again i hope that makes sense to you so they could be feeling happy for something about you something that you've achieved or decision that you've made but they're not happy for themselves. They're not happy for the both of you, okay? Does this sound complicated? <laughs> Hope not. So we've got these Six of Swords here, the King of Wands. You see, again, roles can be reversed, right? So there's someone here doing super well. But then it's like a happy thing. It's such a good thing. But in what expense? In the connection's expense? Something's got to give. Something's got to end in order for this to happen. Or some of you, if you're already separated from this person, they could be feeling, yeah, I'm happy for you, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio, for doing your thing and da-da-da. But I'm not happy with the way things turn out for the both of us. I'm not happy for the separation if both of you are separate, uh, separated. But the person on your mind still, I would say, they still respect you. They still love you, care about you. 
they're still passionate about you. They respect you for who you are as a person, what you're passionate about, your, your drive. But they're not happy with the situation. They're not happy with what has gone on between the two of you, okay? Yeah. That is definitely what I'm seeing here. They may not be too happy as well with the two swords here that... Either because they're indecisive or you're indecisive about reviving this connection or let it this letting this connection end. It feels like that scenario for some of you. It's almost like if you have two actors, like a husband and a wife or boyfriend and girlfriend, and one actor, the one partner is getting all the jobs and the other partner is not getting any jobs from going to any of these castings. It's like, it's like, I'm so happy for you, babe, for doing so well, but I'm not, I'm, I'm happy for you, but I'm not happy for me, <laughs> right? So I'm just giving an example. It could be something like that, okay? All right, but anyway, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio, this is your reading. I hope you resonated in some way, shape, or form. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm open for personal readings. If you'd like to book me, my information is in the description box below. Subscribe to my other channel, Chelsea Vlogs. It's a travel channel. Yeah, check it out if you want to. I'm open. Uh, I think I've already said that I'm open for personal reading. Send me an email if you want to. And I hope to and I hope to see you back here again later or tomorrow. Bye.